Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Did you notice you didn't get the option to save over, I mean to start over at your house or the sanctuary this time? Yep, that's because we saved in the dark world and that's what I wanted to show you in the last part. And now that I've shown you, I don't have to show it again I think. <laughs> so we got some new critters that are really like other critters that we've seen. This is Ropa, it's kind of like the Popos. Not really all the threatening because it takes a little bit more damage. If that's really an indicator of being an extra threat, then you probably should restart the beginning of the game. And yep, there's a heart piece down there, but I mean restart the beginning of the game for practice. I'm just joking around here. <laughs> so heart piece. Oh yeah, and my heart level increased as well because I got four. Oh yeah, and that's a snapdragon right there, it moves around diagonal lines basically for the most part for some reason, and it just bounces around happily all day long, and then we kill, we kill it like that. It's, it's, it's a sad story, but it had to be told, I guess, because we, we can't let those things get lost in history, otherwise we will not learn from our mistakes. By the way, these guys take a ton of damage. I mean, I should say it takes a ton of hits to take them down. Yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, and they also do quite a bit of damage with their bomb onslaught as well. Yeah! How could you do this to me? How? And how did I block that with my shield sideways? Like, did you, did you see that? Did I, like, walk into the thing or something like that? I don't know, but anyway, those bomb throwing guys are Hinox, and the uh, um, spear guys, <laughs> whatever you want to call them, are Kias, I believe they're called, or I mean, uh, not Kia, Kuz or something like that. Uh, wow, slow down like the Dickens. Okay, hopefully this next area will be a little better. <laughs> oh wait, you're not, you're not Ku. You're think you're you're moblin. What am I thinking here? <laughs> anyway, whatever. Let's move on. Let's just go over to the spot number one on the map. Ow! You guys are dealing a lot of damage to me because I'm messing around here, and I do not appreciate that. Oh no! Oh no! Being attacked by a stall. Yeah, it's not a staffle. It's a stall. Just because it's the head, so they cut off part of the word. <laughs> um, over here, you're gonna find that once again you are blocked from being able to move forward, which is perfectly fine. Well, I mean, yeah, you can pick this up, but uh, uh, for this particular time being, there is something... Well, actually, I could... I think, actually, you can get somewhere here, fairly far ahead here. Um, as you can tell, the Dark World is mostly a redux of the main world. Oh, it's a shop, okay. <laughs> and... Uh, those places are, you know, there's like alternate places depending on where you go, and like since this was a potion shop before, it is a shop now, and I guess I could get further along here, why did I think I couldn't get further there? But I gotta go up there, you know, like later on, so I'm not gonna do that now, I'm just saying, uh, hey, uh, get used to the dark world, there are some changes, basically, <laughs> basically. and I'll be uh, uh, going around to check them all out as I go, come on now. <laughs> It was like using the wall to its own advantage, like I was using at Hyrule Castle. <laughs> it learned well. It learned well. It, it was watching yesterday's video. <laughs> and now, I'm gonna go through Bomberman territory once again, which still feels like Bomberman, because there's still being this stuff being shot at you uh, from all sorts of directions. Oh wait, maybe this is the spot that I thought uh, you would get stuck at. Um, because right here, yeah, these things, these, these weird things, what are these weird things? Well, they're squishy, and you can't do anything about them right now. <laughs> so, that's what blocks you, uh, from your progress forward. And wait, what's over here? Isn't there like, yeah, there's a little puddle there, not really much more to show here, is there? Is there? Ah! <laughs> Freaking bomb-throwing monstrosity. <laughs> Alright, let's go in... This cave and heal up. Yep, Fairy Fountain is still here. <laughs> That's one thing that hasn't changed, so I can't afford to take some damage before I go to the next place. Next place. By the way, um, before you go to the next place, make sure that you have uh, 200 rupees, because you're not going to be able to make progress without 200 rupees. You gotta, you gotta bribe your way, way into the next dungeon. 
<laughs> Believe it or not. Okay, so this this area here that remember it was all mountainous and whatnot uh, in the other place, you know, the light world. Well, now it's more like a hedge maze, more than anything. And you got some arrows indicating that, yeah, you can go right through here. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. <laughs> so what we're looking to do here is make our way to uh, <laughs> make our way to a certain place at the upper right corner. Oh wait, wait, hold on a sec. Can't I go in that middle building first, like just for kicks? And why did I go down there when I knew this path was here? I'm being stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I should at least go and uh, go show this middle building here. This middle building is... A tree! You're new here, aren't you? Did you come here looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It will only obey the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world. It reflects his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power. And look what happened to me. To restore the golden land, a person worthy of the golden power must defeat the man who created this place. Until that time, I am stuck in this bizarre shape. But what mischievous thing to leave lying around the power of gold. Triforce. So, it appears that someone got to it before you. That's not all that good, considering it's got so much power, and yeah, you can restock here, by the way. <laughs> um, there isn't anything... No, there isn't. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Because sometimes there's like a, a hidden area within a hidden area <laughs> in, in some of the Zelda overworld areas. Um, I wonder if I should go and show you left side you can't make progress through the left side but i just kind of want to show you what you might be missing and that's that's really it <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah like i said it's like a hedge maze more than anything so uh i was i was immediately and instinctively going down the right path first rather than showing you other uh, other parts of things obviously this is a crow reskin known as dacto you know like a pterodacto yeah <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. <laughs> There's a lot of new critters that aren't really new here, isn't there? That's because of the whole transformation aspect. Remember, like, I came to the world as a bunny, and uh, whatever is in people's hearts is what they're transformed into. My god, you take a lot of hits. <laughs> I mean, I know S S S uh, the sword beam doesn't do as much damage, but still... <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll explore this a little bit later on. Uh, I, there's actually a place like that in the light world as well, but I haven't yet gone to every place in the light world anyway, so... Anyway, I'm just gonna move on here. Stop that! No, 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 why are you following me? You're not, you're not gonna get anything from following me here. It's just... It's just gonna lead to your demise, and you're not gonna be happy with that. Alright, now, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I don't think that's the correct path, if I'm not mistaken. I think you're supposed to go around here... And then zip through that opening down there instead, because I think the other one is a dead end inside the uh, sort of kind of blind hedge maze. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can tell where there's pathways cut out by the, you know like these tree root looking things that you know are, are opened up and whatnot. So it's it's pretty intuitive to get through until you get to this point right here, and then you got to look for the little dots on the place to uh, find your way through. And, okay, I want to go down this way, and, uh, yeah, this would, that other place would have led me to a dead end, uh, if I would have went down that, uh, lower one there. Okay, so let's go through here, and, oh, I'm kicking a monkey! Kick, kick. I like, Ru I love rupees more than anything! Can you spare me 10 rupees? Yeah, yeah, sure, I, oh, I guess I need more than, uh, 200 rupees. Kick, kick, kick. good choice! I will accompany you for a while. Kick, kick, kick. Okay, so he's gonna come with me, and yes, we do need to do this. And otherwise, we're not going to be getting in the next dungeon. As silly as that sounds- Oh no! Oh no! I lost my monkey friend. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I'll come back for you, don't worry. Here. I'll just go back in here and then I'll come back- There we go. <laughs> yeah, if you if you lose him, you gotta redo this thing, sort of, to an extent. That's okay. <laughs> I actually forgot about that for a second until it happened. So yeah, don't take hits while you have Kiki. In fact, uh, you might be wise to clear out the pathway to the next dungeon with Kiki for a bit. You know, so that you can uh, open up the pathway like this and uh, Kiki, if you give me one, oh, it's 100, not 200. Man, I'm forgetting about a lot of things today, aren't I? I'll open the entrance for you, Kiki, Kiki. All right, good choice. I get 100 rupees. 
So and then he hops up and goes over to this other switch, and the dungeon opens up. Woo! And now we can go in. Should I do a little bit of this? I'm thinking I should do a little bit of this. So this this looks like the same dungeon, but. Oh no no no! Oh no no no! This is not the Eastern Palace. It's the Palace of Darkness, and it's the first dungeon in the Dark World. So let's take a look, see around. Look at that! No platforms messing with you here. Oh, there's a Helmosaur, and I'm getting severe lag again for some reason. Maybe I'll just explore the first couple of rooms, and then I will uh, end off the part. <laughs> Probably, because this dungeon is a lot longer than uh, other dungeons. By the way, yeah, the, the Light World dungeons are a lot uh, smaller than the Dark World dungeons. So it's good that I'm going to be getting a little bit done this part, I suppose, and then I'll work on my processing issue. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I can't go up there just yet. I'd like to go down here first, actually. And uh, going into this thingajigger leads you to a place... With a little hint blurb. Link, can you hear me? It is me, Zelda. I'm locked in the Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. I know you are doing your best, but please hurry. Interesting, interesting. Which one of these move? I forgot. Is it this one? Is it this middle one here? It's that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so wait, what is this other one for? Well, that's something over a little bit of a secret later on. Actually, hold on a sec. Is it? I'm thinking, uh, can I get something else in here? I'm thinking that I that there's something else. Hold on, I just want to pluck at the walls a bit here. No, no, no. I didn't see any indication of that. I just want to just want to check just to be sure. Oh, it's this wall. Okay, I'm glad I did not forget about this <laughs> because I'm like, I'd be running around the dungeon for hours. And here's a beery. I mean, excuse me, it's a Bari. Uh, the Beeries are the tinier versions of them that you'll find at places at times. And uh, over here, I'd like to explode a bunch of things at once here to show you. You can blast apart the floor, you can blast apart the wall. And uh, blasting apart the wall leads into these guys. See these guys? Yeah, um, that red one. That red one is quite... The Dickens. Yeah, it shoots at you when it looks at you. <laughs> It's not a nice critter by any means. So, and you can also tell it moves at a slightly different pace than the greener ones. So, yeah, keep that in mind. So, what you want to do to uh, tackle these guys is to get them at a slight angle. And, wait, hold on, it's arrows actually, isn't it? I forgot. You go like this, and then like that. Yeah, it's arrows. <laughs> Handy, no? Yeah, and, that, and what that does is it keeps you out of their... Uh, line of fire, I guess you can say, and that's Goria, those uh, enemies, that what they're called. I keep forgetting to give the names during the introduction, so I'm gonna say it right here, right now. These are traps, these bouncy guy, I mean, these spiky things that are going along the walls here, bouncing back and forth. Yep, they are... Oh, these are the ones that are that split into berries, yeah. And uh, by the way, in case you didn't realize that, I'm not attacking them when they are going bzz, 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 because they're like the buzz blobs, <laughs> so they would not please you whatsoever if you were to hit them just saying i got the dungeon map oh yeah don't hurt me please <laughs> all right let's blast this wall and blast this wall uh yeah this this pathway that i took first here is like the most important pathway of the whole dungeon uh that's why i took it first uh, first, there's a couple of fairies here. That's not, that's not exactly what you came here for. I mean, it is nice, but that's not what you're looking for. And I Hold on a sec. I think I forgot something uh, back this way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to go... Remember that f uh, hole in the floor that I blasted? I think you can drop down there. Uh, I just want to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is all going to be open to me because I cleared out the stuff. I just want to see. Just want to see really quick. Because I think that's where the uh, other thing... No, it doesn't. That's just completely useless. <laughs> Unless you count uh, killing yourself as being a uh, useful thing. I should have known that because it was, you know, it's black. And uh, black means down is death, so beware. <laughs> oh, wait, can I kill you and get something out of this? Because you are the last enemy in the room? Perhaps. Uh, yeah, even those little beeries can do damage to you if they zap you. So be wary of them. Oh! 
Ah, poopers. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. <laughs> Alright, so let's go this way now. And grab this. It's a key! Oh, maybe this isn't the single most important pathway I was thinking of. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, in any case, I'm glad that I got the a key, a dungeon map, some potential fairies to put in bottles. So with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when I go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Uh, actually, you know what I could do? <laughs> yeah! Right there we go. <laughs> now what I can do is play the rest of the dungeon normally. So with that, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Woo!